This beautiful instrument I hold here in my hands is the latest addition to a lineup of guitars handcrafted by a team of luthiers in Beijing, China. It's called Romeo and it's a product of Eastman Guitars. Today I'm going to be taking you through the specs and sounds of this guitar but before I do I just want to tell you all how I came to be acquainted with the people at Eastman Guitars because I have actually met and spoken with people from the team at Eastman uh, in person. This is not a case of some random Chinese company sending me a free guitar in return for a video. Far from it. If you search for this guitar model on YouTube you'll probably come across a video on the channel for Premier Guitar Magazine that features yours truly demoing this guitar, this very same guitar, at the Eastman booth at this year's Summer NAMM show in Nashville, Tennessee. Now, I didn't have any plans to do demo work at this year's Summer NAMM. I was really just there to hang out and catch up with old friends, but I had been talking back and forth with Sean Tubbs, who is one of my favorite Nashville-based players with a YouTube channel of his own. I actually interviewed Sean for my video about the Nashville music scene, so we'd been texting each other trying to sort that out. Anyway, it gets to a couple of days before the NAMM show starts and Sean texts me to let me know that he was supposed to be demoing a new guitar at the Eastman booth on the Friday of NAMM, but he could no longer do it. And so he recommended that Eastman get in touch with me, which I was very flattered by. And I had actually heard of Eastman guitars before. In fact, I'd been looking at their single cut guitars on their website a couple of weeks prior to all of this happening. So I called up Alex from Eastman. He told me a bit about the new guitar that they were releasing and explained to me that I'd just be doing a bit of playing to demonstrate the tones from the guitar and that I would be in the video with Pepan from Eastman and he would be doing the talking and explaining the specs of the guitar and all that stuff. And considering the fact Sean had really good things to say about their guitars and I really respect him as a player, I said I'd be happy to help out. So I showed up on the Friday of the NAMM show, played around with the guitar, Premier Guitar Magazine showed up and shot the video, which was really cool for me personally because I've been watching their channel since I was like 15 years old or something. I have to admit I was quite nervous about it because it was the first time I'd ever had to do uh, any sort of booth work at a NAMM show, but it all went very smoothly. The video turned out great. And as you can see, I've kept in touch with Eastman and they've now sent me the Romeo model for a proper review on my channel. Now, just as a disclaimer, before we go any further, this is not my guitar to keep. It is being collected in a few days time. However, I will be receiving a different model from Eastman Guitars in the coming weeks as a thank you for me helping them out at the NAMM show and in turn doing this video review of the Romeo. So yeah, I really do like their guitars and you will be seeing another one of them on my channel, hopefully in the not too distant future. With all that being said, let's now talk about this guitar. Let's talk about the Romeo. So this guitar is priced at 1,950 pounds. And for that money, you are getting a handcrafted instrument with a one piece mahogany neck, ebony fretboard, spruce top body with mahogany laminate back and sides, Goto hardware, Lawler custom wound imperial humbuckers, switchcraft jack and three-way selector switch, CTS 500k audio taper pots with ebony knobs, Jesker fret wire, a bone nut, ivoroid binding, and a nitrocellulose finish, which will no doubt age very nicely over time. Oh, and you also get a nice hard case with it. That's a lot of very high quality components and material for the price you'd be paying for the Romeo. Of course, it is cheaper to produce guitars like this overseas than it is in the US or in the UK. So that's a big part of why this guitar does not cost double the price that they are asking. But with that being said, this is not a case of a company having their uh, manufacturing outsourced to a factory in Asia where they're building various brands all under the same roof. Uh, this is, it's far from that. As I said earlier in the video, Eastman Guitars actually have their own dedicated workshop in Beijing where a team of luthiers handcraft these guitars and only Eastman guitars and instruments. And I can see and feel that attention to detail in this guitar. I don't see any blemishes in the finish. The fretwork is excellent. There's nothing sticking out. Everything feels very smooth. 
there's no fret buzz. It is a 12 inch fretboard radius, so that does of course help with that. But the guitar feels ready to go right out of the box. I could comfortably gig with this guitar the way it is right now. I don't feel that I have to make any adjustments to it. If you want to know more about the specs of the guitar, check out the link in the description box beneath this video. I want to talk more about the pickups in this guitar. Again, these are Lawler Imperial Humbuckers. I'm sure a lot of you will have heard of Lawler before. They are a very popular choice for aftermarket pickups and they are used by a lot of highly respected boutique builders, including Collings and Novo Guitars. Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong here, but I'm sure I heard somewhere that it was in fact Lawler who approached Eastman to say, hey, we love your guitars and we'd love for you to use our pickups in them as opposed to Eastman approaching Lawler. I'm pretty sure that these are low output humbuckers. They don't seem to drive the amp very hard. I actually just put a set of low output path style humbuckers in my D'Angelico guitar and to my ears, those drive the amp harder than these Lawler custom wound Imperials do. For humbuckers, they are quite twangy sounding. This is most noticeable in the bridge position. And the neck pickup has a nice amount of clarity to it, which you're gonna notice most when you're playing in the lower register of the guitar. When you're playing low notes, you still hear a nice amount of pick attack. Despite the fact that these are obviously low output pickups that are a bit lighter sounding than your average humbucker, you can absolutely still use this guitar for higher gain rock tones. At first glance, it does look like something catered to jazz and blues players, but I believe that the versatility of these Lawler humbuckers make it a viable choice for rock players too. I play in a wedding band, I play a lot of wedding and function gigs where I'm covering a wide range of styles, everything from Aretha Franklin to Guns N' Roses, and I honestly feel I could comfortably use this guitar for a full four hour wedding set. It's not as heavy and beefy sounding as a humbucker equipped Les Paul. Uh, like I said earlier, low output pickups that sound light compared to your usual humbuckers. So they will work nicely for clean funk tones, blues and rock as well. So my personal verdict on the Romeo from Eastman Guitars is that it is a fantastic instrument. Uh, I mean, the playability is great. It feels very effortless and smooth to play. The craftsmanship, as I said earlier, there's no blemishes in the finish. 
the fretwork is nice and smooth and of course the the quality of components and hardware that they've chosen to use in their guitars is really second to none you've got boutique aftermarket pickups go to hardware switchcraft jacks and so much more i know i haven't really said anything negative about the guitar in this video but Honestly guys, it's quite hard for me personally to find something that I dislike about this instrument. Perhaps the addition of locking tuners would be nice. I mean, I only have locking tuners on one out of the five guitars that I own. So it's not a big deal, but it does make string changing that bit easier. So that could be a nice addition uh, for this guitar. And for me personally, I wouldn't mind the pickups to be a little bit hotter. I still really like vintage output pickups, which, you know, these definitely are. All of the Imperial humbucker sets that Lawler make are considered vintage output, but they do offer, I believe, three different uh, output levels. So if I was to buy this guitar myself, I would probably uh, eventually get a set of Imperials that were a little bit hotter than these. But I mean, that's just my personal preference. Uh, if you want to know more about Eastman guitars, click the link that I've left for you guys in the description box below. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this video and if you did, please give it a like, click subscribe and please also click the notifications bell to hear about new videos from me as soon as I upload them. Thanks again for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.